In this video, I will compare Odoo versus ERP Next and tell you which of these softwares may be best for you and your business needs. So first, what exactly do they do? So they are both ERP softwares, which means enterprise resource planning. So both of them will help you with a bunch of different types of tasks within your business. For example, you can use them for payroll, for creating your website, keeping track of your stock and many, many more things. So I'll just compare them in terms of features, pricing and overall which one I think is best. So on Odoo, in the odoo.com website, if you click view all apps right here, you can see everything it does. So they have apps for your website, for sales, finance, inventory and manufacturing, HR, marketing, services, productivity, and they have a customization studio. Now ERP Next, you can see right here, it comes with over a thousand objects to help you run your business, such as financial accounting, order management, HR and payroll, manufacturing, CRM, projects, website, asset management, and a help desk. And on top of that, it does offer more features. Now, in terms of integrations, they both integrate with a bunch of different tools and you can just check it out on their websites. So here you can see the third party Odoo app. So you can connect it to Shopify and to WooCommerce and a bunch of different stuff right here. Now, when we compare them in terms of pricing, you'll see Odoo has a free plan available if you want to use one app. So for example, if you only want to use the payroll app, then you can do it for free. If you only want to use the website app as well. But for example, if you want a website and a form, then it is not free anymore. But still, if you want to use multiple apps, it's not that expensive. The standard plan is 19 euros and 90 cents per user per month. And here you get access to all of Odoo's apps. Now, if you pay monthly, it's a little bit more. And they also have a custom plan and here you get access to Odoo Studio, multi-company and external API. But for most people, the standard plan will be more than enough. Now they do also offer a free trial. Now, when we compare this to ERP Next's pricing, you can see right here on their website, they don't offer a free plan, but they do have the small business plan at $50 per month which is best for teams with around 50 employees, you will get unlimited users, managed hosting and product warranty. So this pricing structure is very affordable if you are using a lot of apps, because for $50 per month, you get access to the entire ERP Next platform. Comparing this to the per app price, if you just use two apps, then the standard plan here is already more expensive than ERP Next. So in terms of affordability, if you use more than one app, ERP Next is a lot more affordable. And if you only use one app, then Odoo is free and therefore more affordable. Now then they also have a custom enterprise plan where you get extra stuff like an account manager, phone support, priority SLA and large database support. So what I would recommend is for small to medium sized businesses, so that will be for up to 50 employees that will be using the software, I would personally go with ERP Next. And for larger businesses and maybe even enterprises, I would personally go with Odoo. Now, if we compare their customer reviews on Captera, you can see Odoo right here has 4.2 stars with nearly a thousand reviews. Now you can see some of the common pros and cons right here. So for example, also the customer service is pretty low score compared to the other things. And people are just saying that there is a bit of a learning curve and that the customer service wasn't great for them, but there are also a lot of pros. For example, it perfectly supports importing, exporting or migration from another ERP. This person found Odoo the best ERP after using multiple ones. So there are not just negatives. So there are pros and cons to Odoo. Now comparing this to ERP Next, you can see ERP Next does have a lot less reviews, about one eighth of the reviews, but they score 4.6 stars out of five, which is higher compared to Odoo. Now it scores the highest on the value for money and ease of use. And the value for money I definitely agree with since for $50 you get access to all of the apps. However, here are also some pros and cons that you can read if you would like to. So should you use Odoo or ERP Next? I personally think that for small to medium sized businesses again, so up to 50 employees, I would go with ERP Next and for larger businesses, which means more than 50 employees that will be using the ERP, then I would go with Odoo. So that concludes this comparison of Odoo versus ERP Next. 
If this comparison was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.